And also, speaking of passion, oh, there's Sammy, our shower guy. Hello. Hi. <laughs> and then the people are start getting crazy. Yeah. Go out with your scarf now, yeah, yeah. You know this now? Yes, now. You need to learn this. We are recorded. We are here. Yoksaka. Bale to go. Isayo. TV입니다. 오늘은 리버풀 레전드 선수들을 모시고 한국의 리버풀 팬 문화와 또 팬분들의 궁금증을 해결해 보는 시간을 가져볼 텐데요. 오늘 어, 히피아, 가르시아 그리고 메가티아 선수 함께합니다. Hi guys. Hi, so I heard Sammy's taking a shower, so it's taking so a long time. Yes. Does it really take a long shower? He's okay. He's very okay. long in the shower. <laughs> First of all, can you say hello to our Gold TV viewers? Bye. Hello guys. How are you? Hi, how are you doing? Good to see you here. Nice to see you. So, how's Korea so far? Very good, actually. Yeah. Enjoy yeah, your really time. Good. Yeah, we've, uh, we've done the cultural visit today. So we've seen some traditional dancing and musical instruments. Uh, we've met some fans from the supporters club yesterday. We had a little kickabout. Yeah. Korean legends. We, we did won, well. We won 4-2. Nice. Obviously. <laughs> I actually wanted to show you guys a video of how passionate Korean fans can be when it comes to cheering for Liverpool. Okay. So I will show you a little video of your fans cheering for you. Do you think the fans from Korea are bigger and support the club better than fans from Hong Kong or Singapore? Because it's a tough ask. Really? Oh, yeah. I yeah, I never love. Seen Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's mental. Let's see. Jakarta was mental. It was crazy. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous then, okay. Uh -huh. um, and please give your biggest reaction for the sake of our channel. Okay. Okay, yeah. Wow. Good stuff. With more That's a lot of people, huh? That's a lot of people. <laughs> How, many All right. people? How many people is that? I don't know, wow. but it's like a lot. That's, that's, awesome, man. that's nice. crazy. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of supporters. So this is a place called Phoenix <laughs> Temple, and it's a place devoted for Liverpool. So people will go in here. This is where the supporters club will be. Um, probably. Yeah. Looks like the coffin in Liverpool, huh? Going down yeah. mm -hmm. the Sunfield badge. Anyways. Pretty cool, yeah. So, what did you guys think of that one by one? This well, isn't I mean, generally. No, no, no. I, I'm impressed. There was a lot of people for, for a big game, of course. And uh, we know that. I mean, uh, the club knows how, how big the, the fan base here uh, it is and it's growing very fast. And that's why we are here. That's why we, we try to to come to, to Korea, to Seoul, to, to bring a little bit of uh, the history of the club with all the trophies. Uh, we brought the, VA, uh, the VR experience mm -hmm. for, for all of them. I think it's also a, a quite good thing for, for the supporters to see it. You cannot see it somewhere else. And, uh, and hopefully we can continue um, uh, bringing uh, the heart of and soul of, uh, of Liverpool here and all the supporters can enjoy. So yesterday you got to meet your fans too, right? Yes. Doing various things. Who was the most memorable fan? Was there any fan that really stuck to your mind? Well, actually, the, the young one who was there yesterday yeah. couldn't speak. Yeah. He made yeah. laugh. He was, was he very so shy. Nervous. It was, yeah. Uh, yeah, he was so it was, nervous. It was, yeah. it's, it's, it's quite impressive to see that when, when we come here and you see what, some of the fans that they get so nervous mm -hmm. uh, to be surrounded by the old Liverpool flags yeah. and um, the, all the memories that we, that we bring from, from there and um, they can't, cannot even speak, I think it's quite, yeah. quite... So I would feel honored, of course, because... It's it very is, humble, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly. a humbling experience, yeah. It's great. And also, speaking of passion... Oh, there's Sammy, our shower guy. Hello! Sammy. <laughs> Sammy. Hi! We're going to shower and go to the shower. Welcome! Um, what was your most memorable Liverpool moments? I had so many that uh, I was there for 10 years and, and I had this question today before as well and, and uh, I said that I can't pick one that uh, everyone maybe expect that I picked the Champions League win which, which was a great night and, and we won, uh, won uh, the biggest trophy a club side can win so, 
so it was a great moment. But uh, signing for Liverpool was a great moment for me. That mm. I was uh, well, Liverpool was uh, my favorite club when I was right. young, and, and it was like a dream come true. And then 2001, we played a great final against Arsenal in the FA Cup. Uh, defensive point of view, that pl that game was much better than. Than in Istanbul, because in, in Istanbul we conceded three goals. So that uh, defend as a defender, it's it's not good. But of course, uh, I'm very happy that we won that night. So I can't pick one. Uh, that there was there's many moments that I remember for the rest of my life. And as you were saying that, you had like big smile on your face. So I could really tell that you enjoyed your time in Liverpool. Yeah, I've, uh, I think. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I have a big smile on my face all the time. So. All the time. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Almost yeah. all the time. What about you? Well, um, uh, I didn't uh, spend as much time as uh, Sami. I had the chance of uh, playing for three years, but they were very good. And um, and it's true that Champions League final probably is the highlight of my career. But because Sami just mentioned it, um, one of the probably best nights uh, that, that, that I spent in my career, what I enjoyed more than my, in my career was the semi-final of the Champions League because it meant a lot to, to the club, or, uh, to the fans and to me because I had the chance of scoring a goal that at the end was, um, yeah, it was a goal that I don't love. It was a great uh, goal. Right. It was a great goal. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Yeah. I remember very well all, almost all the goals that I scored in my career, but that one, it was a special one and yeah, I will pick that one as a highlight of, of those three years. And next question, um, if you could have one Korean player you know play for Liverpool, who would it be? And I know you guys get this a lot, but... I think uh, my choice is quite easy. That, uh, <laughs> I, used to, I used to be uh, his coach mm. in, in Germany, so uh, I would say, yeah. So I would say Sonny, Sonny, I think his style of play uh, would suit our style of play as well now, but uh, but I don't make the decisions and, and uh, at the moment when if he, if he would sign now, I don't know how much he would play, so so uh, maybe in the future. Um, I, I agree with Sammy. Um, I think I think what Jürgen Klopp has done is is with his recruitment is he's identified players, maybe not superstars when he signs them, but he's identified players that fit into his philosophy and his tactics and you know there's not many players that haven't been able to to settle into the football club, so recruitment's been really, really well. And I, I agree with Sammy. I think if Liverpool were to sign Son, he would fit into mm. the way Liverpool play. But then I agree with Sammy as well. How much game time would he get? I'm not so sure he would. He would get into the team in the position he wants to play. So, you know, it's got to be right for the club and it's got to be right for the player. And I just think at the moment, mm -hmm. it's just not the right time. Mm -hmm. But who knows what the future might bring? I think the the, the way that Son plays, uh, I always been very uh, attracted to watch players uh, uh, that gave gave me something during the game. And and he's a player who can bring something from nowhere. Mm. Very fast, very quick. Mm. Uh, technically, he's very good and. And sometimes it's a player who can be decisive on a, on a game. So it's those qualities are, uh, I think, very very difficult uh, to to get on, on a player. And for Liverpool, it will be a fantastic uh, a player that fit on on the on the on the team because of that, because of the way he plays. But I wanted to ask you, because what about Jisung Park? Because you had to play against him when Park was in Manchester United, right? Yeah. So. Um, what was it like running against him? Oh, no, no, running against him was impossible because he <laughs> ran so much. And it was those kind of players who was running for 90 minutes up and down. And um, it was also, yeah, it was, it's those kind of players, but because it's easier to talk about the ones that they are playing now and they are big stars, yes, uh, Son just won the, the Asian Cup, so it's easier to, to point him. But uh, yeah, uh, Park was a fantastic player back then, yeah. I think Korean players are always honest and fit. You know, they might might be as physical as maybe European players and um, it maybe sometimes that is why it's difficult for them to settle into the Premier League maybe because the physicality of the and the nature of the division. But, you know, they, they've always been honest and fit and always give you a tough game in that respect. And, um, yeah, there have been some good players over the years. Son is obviously the big name now. Um, so it's almost time to let you go. But before we let you go, what did you think of our interview today? I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm late, uh, that was not my fault, uh, it was great to meet you guys and, and uh, for all the Korean Liverpool fans you'll never walk alone. Definitely, we enjoy very much the interview, you never walk alone. 
Yeah, thanks for your hospitality and thanks for everything. One, two, you'll, you'll never, never walk alone. alone.